for the sign of Scorpio hello and welcome to my channel so Scorpio in the recent past we have listen on the flip side of this card it reads when we feel overly attached to an outcome it's simply an indication that we need to reconnect with our wise self And then it's paired with, you deserve love, you are lovable. So in the recent past, there was probably some situation or maybe a person that made you feel like uh, maybe unlovable. Or maybe they made you um, insecure about yourself. Or maybe you were just insecure about yourself on your own. Or you had some issues that you were dealing with and it just it makes you feel attached to an outcome so you are overly attached you you probably dwelled on something in an unhealthy way in the recent past so you needed to listen because like it says on the back side of this card, when you feel overly attached to something or an outcome, you need to connect to your wise self. You need to be more wise and your thinking needs to, um, to be more, more wise and more, more strong, more healthy, okay? Because you were too attached to something and it was causing probably some type of burden mentally. That's what it looks like this lady is. She, that's how she looks in this picture of listen. Looks like she's mentally stressed about something. But she needs to pull out her inner wisdom and deal with that. And just know that, sh that you're lovable. So whatever it was... And like I said, it probably caused you, caused you to feel like you were not good enough. But just know you deserve love and you are lovable. So that's what we have for the recent past. Now, let's move on down and take a look at the present time. Okay, that's the very t first two cards. The, you see the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. I left out the, the it's a sticker that I put in the middle of the card so you can see what's what. I forgot to put it on there. But you see the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. That's for the present time. Okay. Now we have the Ace of Swords. It's about... No, the, not the Ace of Swords. See, I'm, I'm kind of... Let me just get this correct. Because there's a lot of swords in this reading. So, let me just make sure. Yeah, the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords. That's right. And that's for your present time. Now, let me just explain the Ace of Cups. It's a very, very positive card in the tarot. It's about love, happiness, and affection. Like all the Aces... It's about new beginnings and although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in, um, in many areas of your life. Things are probably, look, they'll be looking up if they're not already. People will respond to you with happiness, love, and goodwill more than usually at this time. You'll be feeling really good about the future and, and about your life in general at this time. And it's a great time to make friends. The Ace of Cups is about love, happiness, and a whole lot of affection. When we're talking about relationships and you get this card, the, re the relationship is, is um, going to take a turn for the better. If it's an existing relationship, uh, it could uh, become deeper levels of understanding or commitment or almost any important aspect of a relationship. It's going to feel like a new encouraging start and if you're single and not committed a new relationship is likely to appear soon 
Now this Ace of Cups is paired with the Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords could be about, um, could stand for a literal person that's in your life or someone that's coming towards you. This person, they'll probably be younger than you because the page is about youth. Um, it's an indication that a message, some type of message is coming in. This could um, be, because it's a sword, it's going to be a message that you're not hoping to hear. Uh, this card, it also tells you that someone could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on the toes of others. You may need to study the body language of others and consider how well you do or do not accept constructive criticism. You're likely to have a great deal of mental and physical energy at this time, so make sure you use it wisely. When we talk about love and relationships and you get this page of swords, it's about mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Because many fights and discussions, they're really not worth having as long as your partner is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her space at this time. This is very crucial for happiness. If you're unattached, get out there, socialize, mix and mingle. Because we all know that love, it just doesn't drop out of the sky. So, for the present time, Ace of Cups, Page of Swords, uh, you could meet someone new right now if you're not in a relationship, and it, it will be a great love. And if you're with someone, um, the connection will get better, much sweeter, and there'll be a lot of happiness, love, and affection, and because it's with the Page of Swords, there's some type of message that's coming in that you really, you don't want to hear. Uh, you don't want to hear it because you're, you're going to be enjoying a lot of happiness and you just, you're not in the mood for any nonsense. And it's probably coming from someone much younger than you. Um, so there could be some conflict at this time. But overall, the Ace of Cups is more powerful than this Page of Swords. Um, because, like I said, if you're in a relationship, it should become sweeter and deeper. And probably move on to the next level of commitment. But still, you got this, this person bring, bringing you a message. It could be a text message, a phone call, and it's going to annoy you. It's going to make you uh, want to fight. There's going to be some conflict. Okay. So that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on over to the next two cards where you see world. This lady with no clothes on. Just hanging and hanging up. But she looks like she's swinging but she's just there with no clothes on. That's a world card. And then the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords. These two cards are how you see the person that you're dealing with in this connection. Now the world card is about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So don't quit now because you're really close. Even though you probably don't see it. You're definitely in need of some well-deserved rest and relaxation. Don't, don't be afraid to take it. Because you're getting really close to who you are at your deepest levels. Now, in terms of work, there's a good chance that you're working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. It's important that this is the case. Make sure you toot your own horn. And make sure the powers that be. Don't accidentally overlook your many accomplishments at this time. When we talk about love and relationships and you get this world card, uh, travel. This could be a traveling time period for you. If you travel during this time and you're looking for a relationship, you could, you could very well meet someone while you're away. This is going to be true. 
even if you travel only locally and not very far away. So don't be afraid to talk to strangers, even if you're just going to the grocery store. Um, if you have been in a committed long-term relationship for some time, you could find it rising to new and better heights. Things in the love department, they'll be looking quite interesting, but in a really good way with this world card. So, this is how you see the person that you're dealing with. You see them as uh, very interesting. You see the connection as interesting. Um, you see it as probably coming to some type of cycle, some type of coming to some type of full cycle in certain areas of the connection. Um, so, um, yeah, that's how you see it. You see the connection or you see this person that you're dealing with, um, the connection rising to new and better heights. You see it taking, it, you see it moving to the next level. So that's why I mentioned that you feel like something has come to a, a complete cycle. Something in the connection because it's it's moving forward, and something feels really good about this connection. It's about completion. So you two have worked hard on the connection, and um, you're probably in need of some rest. Because there's some type of cycle that has completed and it's positive. The connection should move to the next level. So we have this Eight of Swords though. Now, you see this man, he's got all these swords around him. And there's really no one around except for maybe a bull. There's a bull behind him. But he's caged himself in. Because it's about... It's about some type of anxiety, maybe, holding yourself back because you fear moving into the future or because um, you're afraid of getting hurt. So that's how you see the person you're dealing with in this connection. You see them as the connection has a great completion of something and it's moving forward to the next level. But you also see them as afraid of this connection. They're afraid of getting hurt by this connection. You see them as being stuck in their head about this connection. Yeah, so it's completed to, um, and it's ready to move to the next stage of something more committed. But you see them as having some anxiety about it. They're afraid. They're afraid that you could hurt them or this connection could could hurt. So that's how you see them. And that's a world card and the eight of swords. Now let's move on over and take a look at I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you as the Eight of Wands, and they see you as the Three of Wands. Now, the Eight of Wands, it's about a lot of things being up in the air. You could feel frustrated and tired of waiting. This card is about being patient a while longer, because you've done all that you can do, and now decisions, they have to be made by other people. When this card appears, there's really nothing that you can do. Things, um, nothing seems to really be moving ahead. Uh, so don't try to force things because if you do try to force things, it'll probably backfire on you. Uh, sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. So all you can do is just put your best out there and see how, see where it lands. So when we're talking about relationships and love and you get this Eight of Wands, 
Okay, you're probably feeling ready for a commitment that doesn't seem forthcoming. Again, remember, you shouldn't push someone before they're ready. You cannot get your needs met by force, so try to, di try to distract yourself if that's what you feel like doing. If necessary, like I said, distract yourself, make busy. And your lover, your partner, they may be back to you before you know it, offering you the love you've been hoping for on a silver platter. Now, this Eight of Wands is how your person is seeing you. They see you have, as having a lot of energy for this connection. And you, you want to um, communicate. Yeah. But if something is not moving fast enough in this connection for you. Something is just up in the air. You want something to move. Um, you feel like pushing it, pushing something forward, but you, you really shouldn't do that because it, it, it may backfire on you. You just have to wait for the time to be right with this Eight of Wands. So that's how they're seeing you as wanting to push something forward. Okay? And they also see you as this Three of Wands. Um, three of Wands is about relationships that, that are going well. Um, that's especially if your partner is treating you as an equal. And if they're not, it could be time to move on after you've made some complaints and your position clear. If you recently met someone new, just know that they hold you in very high regards, very high regards with this Three of Wands, very high regards. So they see you, the person that you're dealing with, as like I said, wanting to communicate, wanting to um, some type of fast action, something you want to move forward and, and move ahead. And um, They see you as knowing that you just have to wait. That's how they see you. And because it's with this Three of Wands, um, it's about teamwork and looking ahead. The relationship, is, it should be going well. Yeah, with the Three of Wands, a lot of things are moving along in a positive way. Um, they appreciate you. So they see you as appreciating the connection and uh, in a very positive way. And they see you as wanting to grow this connection with teamwork. But there's also something that's up in the air. They see you as having something up in the air that you want to probably talk to them about because you want something to go much faster than it's, than it's moving. Yeah, it's going a little bit too slow for you and they know this. So they see it and they're aware of it. But just hang on in there because uh, they see you as this connection is teamwork, so it's going to work out, but you just have to be patient for whatever it is that you're waiting on. Now let's move on over and take a look at why it's all happening. The very last two cards, we have the Six of Swords, and it's paired with the Two of Swords. Now the Six of Swords is a great time for travel. It's about movement, change. In where you are inward, inwardly. Usually this is a change for the better, whether it's internal or external. You need to think about where you want to be. The six is about a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So take this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Because even a short break 
or a change of scenery. It's going to be helpful for this connection. Um, this doesn't have to be, this doesn't have to cost money. Short walks around the park. Um, it could be just locally, local travel. Now, when we talk about love and relationships and you get the six of swords, it can depict a need for change of scenery. If you're in a relationship, uh, you might think about taking your lover on a trip, take them on a vacation. Like I said, even if it's just down the street for a picnic or something of that sort. Yeah. And if you're single and you're looking for a relationship, this card it points to a need to get out of your routine or your usual search if you really want to meet someone new. And so this is why it's all happening. There is a need for some some type of change in this connection. Uh, it will bring about resolution, but you, you got to make some type of change, some type of transition, maybe a move. Maybe you two need to move from your place of residence uh, to a new, to a new uh, house or a home, a new apartment, um, just to get a, um, a change, to get a, uh, it'll feel like a new lease on life with this move or just maybe just a vacation it's all happening because there's a need for some type of transition okay so it's paired with this two of swords which is um, very good romantically especially for a romance that's already in existence this card can signify that the relationship will move to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with the two of you treating each other as equals playing a major role. So if you're looking for love when you get this two of swords, take a good hard look at yourself to see if you have any outstanding emotional issues that need to be dealt with first. Because with the two of swords, it's about people being able to smell any type of desperation. They can smell it a mile away and it could be a major turn off. A life partner does not complete you. A life partner is like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So do not look outside yourself for happiness, Scorpio. Then the relationship that you truly want and need will come. So once again, why this is all happening is because there's a need for some type of change. It will, like I said, it will bring resolution and it will take their connection to a better level than it had been in the recent past. And because it has this two of swords there, um, when you go through this change, possibly a move or some type of travel, um, it's going to take the relationship to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with the two of you treating each other more equal. That's what the Two of Swords brings.